The world is asking one question. Why did I attack the United States? The United States has had the world in a constant state of war for over a hundred years. Time and again, we have seen the catastrophic results of this belligerent militaristic policy. These wars haven't led to resolution or peace. These wars have only led to more wars. The United States has set the agenda because they wielded the biggest stick. Well, no more. This is not the beginning of a war. This is the end of all wars. After San Francisco, the entire free world turned against Atlas. Irons entrenched himself at his headquarters in New Baghdad. All communications ceased. Both sides knew what was coming. Our mission was to fly in with the 37th Airborne during the initial shock and awe campaign. From there, we would break off and infiltrate the Atlas Command Center, taking out Irons. For Cormac, it was the end of a journey. He'd been waiting five years for this day. Last minute change of plan. We'll be flanking around from the east and the north, covering blue team on their sortie over the target. Yes, sir. I guess I've got the soft option. There are no soft options on the table. I just don't want all my assets in play at once. We're only gonna have one shot at getting the bastard. That's all we'll need. I know it. Just stay alive. You're our star witness when we drag his ass in front of the Hague. Looking forward to it. All right, good luck. There was nothing more to say. We all knew what had to be done. This was the beginning of the end. For one of us. Sentinel 2-1, approaching APC Romeo Victor North at Angels 5. Roger that. Maintain low-level flight from there to New Baghdad. Kingpin out. Sentinel flight. Fence in. Engage anything that doesn't have a Sentinel beacon. Three bandits ahead. Twelve and one road. Time to start jumping ahead. One down. I'm being painted! Mitchell, watch your way! Watch those traces! Target down! More bandits coming over the ridge! Move on! Tap it! Thanks for the cover fire, you saved my tail! Bravo, sir! Got one! Target down! Like a hit! Stay below it! Use your blower to power blast. Mitchell, watch that flight. Phalanx drone to head. More birds bursting in at 12 o'clock. Engage your will. Our current mark. Uh, uh, Bravo, Zoom. I'll take the right canyon. Taking the left. Watch your six, Mitchell. Drop on ahead. Walk to the three. That look. Mitchell, stay in the canyon. Watch your hands, Mitchell. Target down. Hands up. This is Poseidon 3. Send. Over. Approaching hydroelectric sand. Walk off to those hard points and hit them with your missiles. Right here. Watch out for the debris. Finally, closing in on your six, Mitchell. Stay clear. Bravo. Got one. Drop sequence. Autopilot engaged. 
Pod deployment successful. 1,200 meters to target. Minimizing system power. Switching over to low detection. Copy all, Zero One. Your squad is off the radar. Magnetic at Cherub's 4. Distance 2 nautical miles from the target. Over. Connecting the heads up to the battlefield network. Our main target is Atlas Command Center, where Irons is directing the war effort from deep inside. Multiple MD turrets have been placed as air defenses around the city. We need to take them out in order to reach the command center. Distance to target 200 meters. Switch off heads up and prepare for touchdown.
No, it's Manicore. We gotta pull back. Get everyone out! Why aren't we affected? Iron's engineered it to be harmless to his own troops. The three of us must have been inoculated. of New Baghdad, hold strong. Victory is within our grasp. Look around you, and you will see our enemies fall one by one. Each and every one of you can be agents of change. Yes, we will suffer losses. We will suffer setbacks. But make no mistake, we will win. The security that you desire the security that you deserve is within our grasp. But it can only be claimed if you are willing to fight for it. Fight for it.